Dear viewers, you are welcome to this class. Here we want to solve this problem. And if you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now let's label this as equation one and label this as equation two. And now let's say equation two minus equation one. That means we are going to have equation two first. Then we subtract equation 1 from that. So that's A plus B from equation 2. Then minus equation 1 which is AB plus C. That's on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side as well we have equation 2. That's 20, 21. Then minus 20, 20 from equation 1. And from there now. We can open this bracket here with minus. And from there we have A plus BC. That will be minus AB minus C equals to 1. So we have 1 on the right hand side. Then from here let's try to group the like terms. So we have the like term. The one with A now. We have minus AB, bring it together. We have A minus AB. Then we have plus BC minus C equals to 1. Then when we factor what is common, when we group them 2 to now, and we factor what is common, we have A is common here, we bring it out. So we have 1 minus B. Then also what is common here is C, so we have plus C, then into bracket B minus 1 equals to 1. Let, let's try to balance what we have inside this bracket. In this one we have 1 minus B, let's make this one to be 1 minus B. That means we bring a minus out, and when we have that, this is A into bracket 1 minus B. Then we have minus, you know, 1 out, then C. So since one, since minus has come out from here, so it's like this, you know, B will be having minus now. And this one, this minus one will change to plus. Because this minus, when it's affected, is it's still, you know, plus B, then minus 1. So equals to 1. And when we write this properly now, so we have A into bracket 1 minus B, then minus C into bracket 1 minus B, then equals to 1. And from there, we have the same thing now. So we can write 1 out of the 2, that's 1 minus B times A minus C. A minus C, which is equals to 1. So we have two cases here because one we can get one as one times one will give us can give us one and also minus one times minus one we also give us one so from there now it means that the case one now we have for case one we have each of this number to be you know one one since both are equals to one so we cannot say that one minus b is equals to one and also we have a minus c is also equals to one this for case one and by the time we solve this let's solve this first you know one here this will implies that by the time we take minus b here and we take one here so this one become minus it implies that from here b will be equals to zero b is equal to zero from there and since b equals to zero we can substitute that into any of the equation let's substitute that into equation one and from equation one we have that a b plus c equals to 2020 so if I put B equals to 0 here now, it means that 0 times A, everything here will be 0. 
that means our c from equation one will now be 20 20. so from equation one we have c now after putting b equals zero that means we got c as c as equals to 20 you know 20 and since c is 20 20 we can put it you know we can put the value of 20 20 here now so that we get a value of a if i say a minus 20 20 now is equals to 1 that means a will now be equals to 1 plus 20 20 so therefore our a from here will be 20 21 so a is 20 21 from here so we got the value of a to be equals to 20 21 so this one is from the first case so we got this from the first case now let's look at the second case now for the case two now that is when we have the product as both negative because negative one times negative one will still give us one so when we have both cases as negative it means we have minus one minus b is equals to minus one and a minus c is also equals to minus one so from this first one it implies that b will be equals to two take minus one there that's plus take minus b here. so that's b equals to two and also we can get the other one let's substitute the value of b in both equation one and equation two so when we substitute the value of b now for equation one so equation one become when we put b equals to two so that will give us two a now two times a that's two a plus c equals to twenty twenty now let's put you know the value of b in equation two as well that means we have a plus two c equals to twenty twenty one then let's try to solve this we can eliminate a letter by elimination let's eliminate letter c from here that means i will multiply this equation by i will multiply this equation by two and let me multiply this one by one so as to balance the coefficient of c so therefore this you know first equation become when i multiply through by two that become 4a that will become 4a plus 2c equals to 40 40. so this is another equation here then when we multiply this particular one by by one we have still have a plus 2c equals to 20 21 and when we subtract now so as to eliminate c so we are going to have here 4a minus a that's 3a then 2c has cancelled 2c equals to subtract this one we have 2019 and by the time we divide through by 3 we get a to be equals to 673 and since a equals to 673 we can get you know the value of c now from here so Putting a to be equals to 673 from here now, then that will be 673 minus c equals to minus 1. So by the time we take minus c here, then take minus 1 here. So we now have implies c will now be equals to 673 plus 1, which is 674. So we have that. That means for a, here we got 673. And C, we got 674. So we have these solutions now for case, you know, 1, we have these solutions. And for case 2, we have these solutions. And we have come to the end of this problem. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.